don't know what else to say Ain't no particular reason Just hit by your way Maybe I'll grab a cup of coffee Good morning, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. Mm. These overnight oats are so good. I'm going to show you guys how to make them one day because they're honestly so easy. And you make them the night before and then it's just there to grab in the morning ready to go. They're so good. Today is a school morning, hence the reason I'm up so early. I'm eating my breakfast while I kind of wait for my mom to get out of the bathroom so I can go have a shower and start fully getting ready for the day. I've actually picked out my outfit before my shower today, which is kind of unusual for me. I rarely do that. Usually when I have my shower, I start thinking about what I should wear for the day, not before it, if that makes sense. I either lay in bed for an hour if I'm not having a shower and think about what I'm gonna wear for the day, or while I'm having my shower, I like brainstorm in my head like, ooh, what's the weather, what should I wear? But today I'm just gonna wear some blue jeans with this oversized jumper and this shirt underneath so the collar pokes through. Kind of basic, but I think it's cute. It's currently 7.04 a.m. A little later than I hoped it would be. Um, I woke up at like 6.30 today, but then I laid in bed for like 15 minutes actually waking up. So I didn't get out of bed until like 6.50 to be honest. Oh. I don't like to be getting up that late on school mornings because then I feel rushed, but I've decided today that I'm just gonna catch the later bus, which still gets me there on time, but I'll just be cutting it real fine. Anyways, the weather today is gonna be a little bit chilly, but at least it doesn't look like it's raining all day, which it was yesterday and the day before that. It was just constant rain all day. So even though it's gonna be chilly, at least it's not gonna be raining. So I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and then I'm gonna head downstairs to have my shower and I'll come back. There we go. Time for skincare, my hair is a mess. Also apologies if you can hear the shower running. My brother is also getting ready for school right now. So there's gonna be a little bit of noise. I can't really stop him. Otherwise he'll be late too and that's not good. Recently, I've changed my skincare a little bit because I was put on a retinoid cream by my dermatologist, which is basically just like a really, really, really strong acne treatment because my acne's been coming back and it hasn't been good. It's been painful. It's been annoying. Um, so before I go back on Accutane, which I don't really want to do again, we were just trying this retinoid cream, which has made my skin quite dry, but my skin's slowly getting used to it. I just noticed you could see my, uh, my little, anyways. But as with most acne or skin treatments, my skin's gotten worse before it's gonna start getting better, which I expected. I know that's how it works. I've been on so many different treatments. This is nothing new for me. Also, I desperately need to get a new moisturizer. I literally cut out the top of the bottle so that I could scoop out its insides to use it. So I got to do that tonight. I actually can't believe my brother actually listened to my request. Most mornings when he has a shower, he blasts music. It literally is the only thing anyone in the neighborhood can hear. That's how loud he plays it. But I turned around to him this morning because I'm filming and I was like, hey, would you mind just like not blasting your music as loud this morning? And he's like, uh, yeah, okay. He hasn't even played it, so thanks. <laughs> that's nice of him. I feel like that's something that like a lot of people don't know about me, even though it's not really a secret and I don't really hide it. Like I've, I've mentioned it in heaps of videos before that I have a brother. It's definitely not new knowledge, but I get asked so often if I live by myself or if I have siblings and yes I have a younger brother and no I do not live by myself I am a teenager I'm still in high school and I know some kids do move out as teenagers and when they're in high school not me I'm like 17 bro so I live at home with my mum and my younger brother 
There you go, that's a little bit of a fun fact about me. Not really. It's honestly so surreal and honestly scary to me that I'm graduating in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna tell you about the big events coming up in my schooling life because it's coming to an end real fast. So tonight I have my friend's film night, which was actually supposed to happen last term, but then the power went out on the night and it got postponed. So it's happening tonight instead, which is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. All my friends are basically just showcasing all of their film work from their media class and I'm going to support them. And then next week, next Friday, I have my exhibition. I'm both excited and nervous for it because it kind of signifies the conclusion of everything. It's the last chance I'll have to show my final art piece that I've been working on all term. It's exciting. I've actually been asked to speak at the exhibition, so I have to come up with a speech. Ah! But it is exciting and it is a celebration of the year. And then the week after that, I graduate, which is just surreal. I have no idea where any of the time has gone because in my head, I'm still in year seven. It's honestly all just gone by so fast. It's honestly a little bit scary that next week we will be midway through October. <laughs> I was actually looking at my channel the other day and I was looking at some of my past videos, just like scrolling through them, seeing what I had posted. And it like really hit me when I was looking at that, that some of the videos that I remember filming like it was yesterday had been posted like nine months ago. That just doesn't feel right to me. It's a little bit scary how as you get older, time goes faster. I remember as a little kid like sitting there and waiting for Christmas and it felt like it would always take four years for Christmas to come and now it's like Christmas happens and then before I know it it's Christmas again time is just like diminishing before my eyes I honestly really really cannot believe I'm graduating I really honestly thought that by the time that I was in year 12 and graduating that I would feel a lot older and feel a lot wiser. Like I remember in year six when I went and looked at all these high schools and I saw all the year 12 kids, they all just seemed so big and so old and so sure of themselves and like they were ready to go out into the real world and I just feel like a kid. I just feel like a teenager who has no idea. I thought by now I'd have it figured out, but I don't. I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I see my future. But I'm really trying not to stress myself out over the future because, you know what, I feel like what will happen will happen. What will happen is what's meant to be. Right now, I only know the present and I only know what I enjoy doing now, what I feel is right now. And that's just what I'm trying to focus on. I still don't know who I am or who I want to be. And you know what? I feel like that's okay. I'm only 17 and I have so much time to learn and to discover myself. I don't know why I keep stressing myself out and putting so much pressure on myself to know exactly who I am when I'm literally just a kid and I have so much time to just experience the world and figure that out in my own time. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, hair's done for the day. I'm gonna put my sleepers in, my little earrings. They're just the tiny little silver hoops I have because they're hypoallergenic. And my ear is currently infected again. I don't know how. I got my ears pierced when I was five and up until this year, they have never been infected, ever. I could wear whatever earrings I want whenever I wanted and not have any issues. It's only kind of been like the last three months that I've started getting really bad infections on my piercings. Right now it's not too bad because I've gotten it early so I've been like putting antiseptic spray and not wearing earrings because it's been too painful. The earrings are in. I'm gonna pop my perfume on. It's the Billie Eilish number one perfume. For anyone who was wondering, it's my favorite perfume. It's my signature scent. I wear it pretty much every single day. I'm actually, I'm actually running fairly low on it. 
that's not good. I'm just going to quickly go brush my teeth and then I'll put some lip liner and lip gloss on and pack my bed, pack my bed, make my bed and pack my bag. And then I will pretty much be ready to head off to school. Alright, so I got my school bag, my school satchel, and I'm packing my laptop, I've got my book in its little bookcase. I'm currently reading this book called How to Survive Your Murder by Danielle Valentine. It's a murder mystery set in Halloween, which is like perfect for October in my opinion. Got my chargers, my iPad, I'm gonna pack my glasses, oh, my glasses, these are my old ones, because... <laughs> I lost my glasses and I still haven't been able to find them. I had to go order a whole nother pair, which was expensive because <laughs> I have to get multifocals because I am very blind. Like I can barely see without my glasses, but I refuse to wear them. So those are my old ones. Hey, gotta do what I gotta do. My insulin. And I should go downstairs and grab a juice box because I don't have one of those in my bag. <laughs> Never mind, there was one sitting right outside my room. All right, do I need anything else? I'm gonna take this workbook to school, even though I don't think I need it today. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. There we go. Well, that's my bag packed. I have about 10 minutes before I need to leave and I haven't had tea this morning, which probably doesn't sound like a massive problem to anyone but me, but I function on like 95% caffeine. <laughs> So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. So I'm gonna go make myself a tea in a to-go mug and then head to school. I feel like my outfit is very color coordinated today. Like I've got the brown beiges as well with my bag and then I've got my blue mug, my blue jeans and my blue converse and then I'm wearing like silver earrings which kind of like ties in with my headphones. Anyways, I'm off to school now. Thank you for joining me and getting ready with me this morning. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any video suggestions or things you'd like to see from me, please let me know down in the comments, along with any thoughts on this video. I love and appreciate you all so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye!